everyone i have been having the worst sinus headache whatever you want to call it i don't know but it's just like the worst and this is going on to the second week i'm taking sinus medication allergy medicine uh flu medicine like everything any and everything it's working a little like it'll bring the mucus up <coughs> ibuprofen for the headache but just like how i just coughed right now it just hurts so bad in my ear right here and through my eye right here like it's killing me so i said hey maybe i'll try something new it's a little dark oh So I'm gonna try this. Uh, micro filter sinus wash system. Natural soothing relief for nasal congestion and sinus symptoms. Built in water filter meets the CDC recommendation for sinus wash, well, washing with tap water. BPA free and includes soft comfort tip. One micro filter sinus wash system. 30 all natural saline packets. I can't even talk right, y'all. This say the same thing. Y'all might want to read this. And sodium bicarbonate, sodium chloride. Temporary leaves, symptoms associated with sinusitis, sinusitis cold flu, or allergies. Oh, y'all read that. Because I'm telling y'all, I like. It's hurting me to talk in my teeth, too. And I just came from the dentist, so I know it ain't nothing like that. Like, not literally just, but it's like a couple of weeks ago I had a dentist appointment. No cavities or nothing. So, in here, we have this thing, which I'm guessing it says. That's the filtered system. So, this more than likely goes on here like this instructions and these packets <coughs> oh so let's see what it says so y'all can see that yeah y'all can see that good That's not the part I need yet, so. Oh, so. You're supposed to put the first day you use it and replace the filtered system every six months. And this was very inexpensive. This was like 11 or 12 $11 and something, basically $12. Um. The micro filter system is certified to treat 50 gallons of water, which is enough to fill the 8 ounce bottle 800 times. This allows up to four uses per day for six months. Which, I mean, if you're using it like once a week or something, or once every blue moon, because I mean, most people are not going to have a sinus issue every freaking day, all day. On the average. Do not clean that light is getting right there. Do not where was I? Do not clean any part of the micro filter system in dishwasher. I also want to say do not clean. The oh these are questions. Q and A. Should I use isotonic or hypertonic solution? The micro filter system can be used with the enclosed saline packets to make either an isotonic or hypertonic solution. An isotonic solution has a salt concentration similar to your body, and some people find this more comfortable to use. A hypertonic solution is more concentrated, similar to the salt concentration of ocean water. Both are beneficial to your sinus and nasal health. Check with the guide below to con or consult your physician for best use. If you want to do an isotonic, it's one saline packet per, per eight fluid ounces. Hypertonic is two saline packets. Okay, helpful hints for a more comfortable nasal experience. Begin using the microfilter system slowly. A full bottle of solution is not necessary to receive the full benefits. So basically, I'm taking that as if it's your first time, maybe use half a bottle. 
If the solution is too warm or too cold, the nasal wash will be uncomfortable. If stinging or irritation occurs, try using one packet of dry ingredient per bottle. Gradually work up to using the solution at full strength using two full packets, which to me too must be more potent. Do not use less than one packet. If you experience ear discomfort after use, try to blow your nose gently after the wash. If the problem persists, the openings of your if the problem persists, the openings of your eustachian tubes may be particularly wide and use of the system should be discontinued. Breathe continuously through the mouth when using the nasal wash system to avoid solution draining from the back of the nose into the mouth. Wow. What type of water can be used in the system? In addition to distilled water or commercially bottled water, the microfilter system can be used with tap water. Warning, the microfilter system is intended as a final filter for tap water that is known to be safe for drinking. So if you live in an area where your water is very, very hard or some areas have contaminated water where it's not safe to drink, where they have to send their water through a filter. They're telling you that do not use this water in the system. That this filter, I'm sorry my eyes are closed because the light is killing me. This filter system is only meant for tap water that is suitable for drinking. It is not a deep filter, a hard filter. So don't blame them. All right, instructions for use. Warning, do not use microfilter system if nasal passages are completely blocked. Mom. Okay, so preparing. Before first use, wash your hands and rinse the bottle with warm tap water and empty next fill bottle. Fill with warm tap water and place cap on bottle and tightly secure, holding the assembled bottle and cap over the sink invert so comfort tip faces up and squeeze bottle several times until bottle is empty and no water flows from the comfort tip. Repeat the filling and emptying process two additional times. The microfilter system is now ready to use. I guess that's like a cleansing and an activation. For first time use, make sure the microfilter system has been prepared according to the instruction above. This light is glaring, so y'all can't see it. There we go. Okay. Before each use, inspect filter media for any signs of damage or discoloration and discard if any is present. To inspect filter, refer to diagram in the cleaning care and storage instructions located on the back. Pour the contents of the saline packet into the bottle. First time users should start with one packet. As you become more accustomed, blah, 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 up to two. Use packet contents immediately upon opening a discard one. Any partially used package or unused saline. Don't keep them once they're open if you didn't use it. You're supposed to use a whole pack anyway, so you shouldn't have nothing left over. Fill the bottom with warm water to the 8 ounce mark. Make sure the white check valve located on the shoulder of the bottle is present and in place. Test water temperature before using saline solution. Promptly do not save or store for future loops. Replace the cap on the bottle. Tightly secure. Gently shake until the ingredients are dissolved. Invert the bottle so the comfort tip is facing up. Lean over the sink with your head bent down so you are di looking directly into the basin. Place the comfort tip up your nostril. Gently insert. Aim the tip at the back of your head. Not at the top of your head. What? Back and not the top. Okay. Squeeze the bottle gently so the solution enters the right nostril. Do not inhale or snort the solution into the nose. Breathe through your mouth. That will cause you to swallow it. Um, in a few moments, the solution will begin to drain out of the left nostril. Um, continue to squeeze into the bottle. Approximately half of the solution. Oh, it's half and half. So then once you do the other, remove the comfort tip, nostril, exhale. 
through both nostrils, clear them, blow your nose, repeat. When finished, hold the system inverter over the sink, squeeze several times to remove solution remaining tap. After each use of the microfilter system, follow the cleaning care and storage instructions on the back. And here is the cleaning care. I'm not going to go through this. If you get this far, then you must own one. And you should have this same booklet. If you lost your booklet, let me know. But I'm holding here long enough for y'all to see it. So, I'm going to go in the bathroom, get this set up, and let y'all see how it works. Okay, so we here now. I done ran the water some so we put more mud. And I'm just now opening it. I ain't did start nothing without y'all. It is soft. It's really soft. It feels like um, it's kind of thick, though. Oh, yeah, it does. I was thinking, like, dang, it don't even fit up there good. But Oh, and then it has the, uh, to let the air pressure out. That's how you can continuously flow. Because I was thinking about that, too. Like, if you squeeze it, the bottle's going to be... But it has that little hole to let the air pressure out. So, it said connect this. Oh. First, I was supposed to put some water in there. Duh. Now, this water is hot that I'm putting in here right now. But I'm just doing this for the initial cleanse, like they said. Mom. Hmm? Can I play with Sissy? No, Sissy got to go to bed, Papa's. Mom. And you're supposed to be laying down. It said hold it like this. Mom. Oop. So that's how it's going to be going in your nose. That's one squeeze. Move back. This is hot. And let's turn it back up this way. And that one squeeze took it about halfway. So if you squeeze it one good time in, and it says you must use the other half for the other I nostril. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. But as you see, I squeezed it completely one time and it went halfway. So that's saying. And it tends to go further out once it gets towards the end and then comes in. That's why I'm moving it some because it starts to go outside of the sink and onto the floor. So it comes out, it's like this, a level shoot, like, then it jumps up to go further, then it comes back. So when you're doing the cleaning, when likely you won't be doing it on a video like me, but if you are, you might have to clean the floor up. So it said do that about two times. So we're gonna do it one more time. And I'm going to just go through it real quick this time. So I'm ready to start. See if it works. Hopefully it does. Mom. My lips are chapped. What? Did you pause the video? For what, Noel? Do you bet, Bella? Okay, so I'm back again. Maybe we'll get bet, this video Bella. finished tonight. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go, just Bella. be doing it. Go, go, go. So I squeezed it all out the second time. So now, turn the water on. Find a comfortable temperature for me. Pretty sure you don't want it. If it feels warm, like, ooh, feels good, like a bath, I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Because it is, like, inside your nose. Please excuse my chap lips, y'all. That's a little bit. I'm going to put the saline. Oop, I splashed water. Sinus splash. Saline packet. I recommend drying your hands because I just wet the packet and kind of made it hard to open.
trying to get it at the right temperature. And it's right at the line. You guys can see the line right there. It says eight ounce, 236 milliliters. And so shake it until it's all dissolved. I mean, I can't really tell if it's dissolved or not. I guess it is. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, so I am a little congested, blow my nose. Oh, get out what I can. I don't wanna do this on camera. And I am back. says to do not inhale. <sighs> do not breathe through your nose. Breathe through your mouth only. Do not point it up. Oh, meaning like this. Point it back. Lean over the sink. we could say I inhale through my nose seen it come out of my nose but it came out my mouth at the same time too because it shocked me that it came out my nose so I inhaled you gotta have good lungs for this and I don't think if you're not used to breathing through your mouth you're not gonna be able to do it a straight through like just how that squeeze was you might have to squeeze it you know so that's how I'm gonna try it please get out right now Please move from under my legs. Let's try it again, y'all. Mom. Mom. <coughs> Mommy. How do you not breathe in through your nose? Mom. Let me try again. Mommy. Yes, Noah. Put that in your box. It's okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. When I tell y'all that I just seen, I wish I could have had the camera face now. <laughs> when I did that, so much snot just ran out the left side of my nostril. When I finally did it the right way. But I could also see why they would say don't inhale because even though it's coming, I spit it out of my mouth, but that means that the mucus is getting pushed down that way. So, I think I'm going to just do this whole 
bottle on this side since I, you know, kind of low-key wasted it. And look, holding it this way, I'm not even squeezing, but it's coming out still. So you got to be careful of that, too. And let's see. Yeah. It takes some getting used to. I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna put the camera lower for y'all because it is really like I gotta really bend over. Dang, I need to get it lower. Cause it's coming all down my shirt. So yeah, let's see if I bend over for it now. That's better. And it could be face down towards the sink. Yeah. But this one, y'all will be able to see better because it's going to be coming out of this side. But when I tell you, that just took like that first go round, it was like. I don't know if this is recommended because they say you have to have. But I'm about to use a whole nother packet to do the other side. So hold up, let me get the packet. Bella, get out this bathroom. Go, go lay down. It's my dog, y'all. She's staying under my feet. The part I just swallowed, I just belched up. Like, it was nasty. I'm going to have to put up that this is a disgusting video. It didn't hurt at all. The only bad part was when I inhaled through my nose and it, it kind of choked me up a little. Bella, Noah, get out of here. Go. Stop doing that. So I'm putting the packet in. Hopefully this works. I can see how it would. And I don't see why anyone would have to do this four times a day. But you know, some people do have sinus issues that bad. <coughs> and I originally was looking for the one that I seen on a commercial. But I believe it's at Rite Aid. And I went to CVS. And it has where it goes up two nostrils. And it pushes it through. And it the old water comes out of the reservoir at the bottom. from the new water filters through. And then you pour that out. And you just switch it. That's the pour. I'm going to have to pause y'all for a minute. Okay. So I'm shaking it up. I don't think y'all can... I think you know how to hold this one shake it up. Now I'm gonna tilt y'all down. So, okay, let's see. I 
I'm back, y'all. As y'all see, the bathrooms around here are not private. Because my oldest son done came in to pee while I'm in here. My daughter in the tub now. My baby keep walking under my feet with the dog in between my legs. Like, man. Oh, but what I was going to say is, I think that as long as you're breathing out, like, you could be putting this in. But once you feel you can't breathe out anymore, I would suggest to stop because that's when you inhale. So that's just how I'm timing myself. Otherwise, I won't be able to tell if I'm going to take a breath or not because that maybe I just can't multitask. I'm going to close the door. But, okay, so I take a few breaths. And then when I'm ready to exhale again, that's when I do it. says once you do that blow your nose but I've been blowing my nose through the whole thing don't let the water out yet for a first try first time <coughs> I'll say I did pretty well I think it's still some congestion up in here I might have to do it a few more times but I'm Honestly, I could say that that piercing pain I was having right here is not there anymore. I can't tell that I'm still congested and it does feel like tender and swollen like all in here. And I, uh, in my eyes right here, like this feels so good when I do this. The piercing pain is gone now. Maybe... Um, it said four times a day, so it's 24 hours in a day, that and half is 12, so every six hours you can do it, I'm guessing. Uh, so when I wake up in the morning, I'll be doing it again, um, and try it again. I'll give y'all the feedback. I'll give y'all the, you know, how it's been going. Um, all right. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Mom.